A few weeks ago, I reviewed the Kent Truvail, $399 worth of really big deal of a mountain bike from Walmart. Today, Walmart bikes are taking another step forward with this, the Valor, a mountain bike from a brand that's new to Walmart, Giordano, a brand also owned by Kent, and this is a similar bike to the Truvail, albeit slightly more sleek, crisp frame lines, and a few extra goodies. Because there are some shared components between this and the Kent Truvail, I'm going to stop you here and I want you to be aware of that bike. If you didn't know it existed, I have a review video. I'll put a link down in the description. I highly recommend that you go watch that first because a lot of what you're about to see carries over and it will help you appreciate the parts that are different. So last chance, one, two, three, let's go with the Giordano Valor. I'm going to be moving fast, especially on the common parts, like the bars. 760 millimeters wide, 31.8 diameter. These are alloy bars. And at first glance, rebranded Truvel, right? Until you look closer and you notice this. The hydraulic brakes. Not generics, these are Tektro hydraulics. Model HDM275N. I've used these exact same brakes on some of my project bikes. Shifter, it's a micro shift and it's a 10 speed model XLE, which we'll talk about in a second. And this is a trigger shifter. Grips, we saw these on the True Veil with their rubberized barrel shaped gripping area. And these are lock-ons. We've seen this short stem too, not the most attractive, but very functional and gives the bike a good modern mountain bike stem length. Giordano frames get a tapered head tube. Such a big deal for reasons that I have covered extensively. Just know tapered head tube equals modern mountain bike frame. Out of the box though, it comes with a fork that has a straight steer. This fork features a preload adjuster, a manual lockout, and 100 millimeters of travel. They're 30 millimeter stanchions and that's where the name comes from in the SR Suntour XCM30 branding. The fork is also fit for the 29 inch wheels. These wheels are quick release and a pause here for a major Giordano Valor feature. The bike you are seeing here is a pre-production sample. The production bikes will have a very familiar red stripe on the hub and familiar to Kev Central viewers because these aren't regular big box bike hubs. These are Novatech hubs, just like what you're seeing here. This is one of my project bikes. I use Novatech hubs on probably 90% of my builds. So while I didn't get the fancy branding, just know that the production bikes do and that this is a big deal because quality hubs mean less maintenance and less out of the box bearing related issues. The rest of the wheels, double wall alloy rims, black steel spokes, the tires 29 by 2.40, CST patrols. Decent tires for entry level trail riding. I'm going to go back to those hubs for a second because I was looking on the Walmart website and if you zoom in on one of the pictures you can clearly see the Novatech hub branding. And I think this goes without saying but I'm going to go ahead and mention it. When I say Novatech hubs I mean hubs Novatech for the front and rear wheels. The front half of the drivetrain is going to look familiar to Truvale fans. From the pedals to the Promax alloy crank arms, and these crank arms, 175 millimeters. And the single 32 tooth chain ring, also familiar. This is a narrow wide chain ring. The Valor also has the Neko sealed cartridge bottom bracket. At the back half of the drivetrain, it gets a little different, more new for us Walmart bike shoppers. Labeled Mega 36 to 42 tooth, this is a micro shift derailleur. It looks like an Advent, but it's actually an XLE model. I'm going to admit I had never heard of the XLE. I had to look it up on the MicroShift website, and it sits right there with the Advent. Now, I suspect this is basically a slightly more affordable Advent-like product, which we'll touch on more in just a minute. It's made to shift through the bike's 10-speed cassette, and this cassette, 11 to 40 tooth. Which is good. I mean, 10 speed, 11 to 40 tooth, but it is worth note that the Truvel, even though it's only 9 speed, has a 42 tooth, giving this slightly less gear range. I'm very curious about the decision making that brought us to 11 to 40 tooth for this bike, being that it's a more expensive bike, but there is this Novatech hub at the rear, which on the production bikes will look something like this, though it might not be this exact same model number. I will put the official model numbers down in the description when I get those after the 4th of July holidays. Though I will say, if it is the exact same model number, I'll know where they got their design specs. Fitment adjustability. There's this, the quick release seat post clamp. It is a 35 millimeter seat post clamp, in case you want to know. And it adjusts the alloy, Zoom branded 30.4 millimeter seat post. Mounted to the top of that seat post, a saddle that's just like the Truvail saddle. It's very sleek looking and decently comfortable. 
Now, I've already had people email me and say they think this is the same frame as the Truvel. I can tell you, it is not. It has a flatter top tube, sharper lines than the Truvel, and the Truvel, its taupe, the Valor, a very bright silver. So bright, in fact, that I've been lobbying for them to rename it. My suggestion, Matte Chrome. Accent graphics, black, and they're painted on, and I've bragged about under-tube graphics on a few bikes. Well, looky here. It's almost like someone is reading my likes list. The Tektro hydraulic disc brakes include Tektro rotors, 180 millimeters up front, and also note that production bikes get Novatec branding on the skewers. Those come with Novatec hubs. Rear rotors, 160 millimeters. There's a quick release back there, too. In this kickstand, it's chainstay mounted, no tab for those that keep up with that sort of thing, and it's adjustable via the red button. Standout features, the hydraulic brakes, Novatec hubs, the shiny silver sleek frame, it's a 16.25 inch frame by the way, and the MicroShift XLE 10 speed drivetrain. Is it going to perform like an advent, and how am I going to handle losing two teeth back here in the low gear? I lean on the low gear like a crutch. Well, there's only one way to find out. We just had the first look, now the first ride. Which I'm going to be doing in express time because this is a very dangerous time to be riding triple digit heat index, but new bike, I couldn't wait. And I'll get the cat out of the bag right out of the gate. Yes, it is very much like riding a Truvel if a Truvel had hydraulic brakes. I mean, the frame's the same size, and the geometry, it's very close. Per my measurements and the head tube angle, 67 degrees. The 10 speeds, shifting it exactly like an advent, and as far as the 42 tooth to 40 tooth, because now I'm on a 40 tooth, I expected to notice that while I was riding, and don't know if I was just distracted by the heat, but it's not a prominent difference. I mean, on the steepest of hills, yeah, it might take a little bit of extra effort, but in this heat, trust me, you won't notice. However, given enough time in the saddle, I'm sure I am going to notice it at some point. Either way, it is quick, crisp shifts. So very familiar to me, but there are the subtle improvements, like obviously the brakes, the hydraulic Tektros, a nice step up. Do I notice the Novatec hubs? Well, not really. Where they are going to be a benefit, though, is in longevity and probably a hair better free rolling. Though when not free rolling, the bike will get up to a decent top speed. It weighs 34 pounds, not super light, but also not heavy. It's an easy bike to throw around. Now these are entry level mountain bikes, but this is probably one of the best entry level mountain bikes as far as rideability out of the box. I hit every bump I could just to show you that these XCM forks, Suntour forks don't underestimate them for budget OEM forks. They're heavy, but I've seen people run Suntour forks of the same caliber on these same trails for years without issue. Now let's get to my first look summary because no doubt some of you have seen this footage and you're thinking, well, that's just a true veil. Why would I spend more for the same bike with hydraulic brakes? Well, in a way, that's actually a compliment for this bike because the true veil is awesome. Just a lot of people want hydraulic brakes on it. It's definitely going to appeal to the same audience, but this is a more refined bike. The Valor's pros, obviously the hydraulic brakes. I mean, that's the obvious visual big deal, but don't underestimate the hubs. That is a huge deal. You'll notice on my project bikes, that's one of the first things that I usually do. I swap out wheel sets, and that's not just to get a cassette. It's to have better hubs, something I don't have to maintenance. Well, not maintenance as often. And the frame, too. This is a very sleek frame. Look at that nice thin top tube and the quality welds. And being 10-speed, that is a pro, but that also gets me into a couple of things that I don't necessarily like all that much. The gear range. Why this is an 11 to 40 tooth instead of an 11 to 42 tooth? It doesn't make sense to me that this has a lower gear range than what is technically a lesser bike. And I have a suspicion that the XLE is a budget variant of the Advent. Now, that being said, in my bounce test, in high gear, I think it did better than the Advent, at least the Truvel's Advent. Low gear's bounce test, pretty much dead even, and it shifts just like an Advent, so I don't think this is any better or worse than a non-clutched Advent. $578 for the Giordano Valor. Is it worth the extra cost? You're gaining hydraulic brakes, gaining better hubs, has a usable drivetrain, Slightly sleeker frame, so I would say yes. That's less stuff that I have to modify. This is a decently capable bike. And I love the design, the color, and the graphics on this frame. And the brand name. I mean, it just sounds cool. And it looks cool printed on the bike. If you're looking for a bike from Walmart that most people aren't going to know is a Walmart bike, then the Giordano Valor is probably going to fit your needs. And with those Novatec hubs and the sealed cartridge bottom brackets, probably going to last quite a while as well. 
full specs rundown coming after the fourth, as well as a video where I compare most of these new Walmart mountain bikes, including some older Walmart mountain bikes, and figure out which one is the best bang per buck. One thing I can tell you is that if I was a local bike shop brand, I would start getting nervous about now, especially since this isn't the only Giordano mountain bike at Walmart. There is another. You'll see it tomorrow. Comment below with your thoughts on the Valor. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you found it informative, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.